And how do you change that, Anne? Is it a case of <coughs> putting good stuff in, books, podcasts, feeding yourself with good information? Is it having a good routine? What, how do you change it if you haven't got a good self-image? Yeah, I think it's all about, you know, you, you have to have routine and structure in your life, you know, and my routine and structure and discipline comes from my, from my military days, you know, um, and I, I believe that's super, super important. You know, you, you need a, a, a sort of a structure in your life that's going, going to keep you disciplined because, you know, discipline is, is the key, but, you know, getting up for work, being on time, punctuality, you know, these are all key traits of, of and again, that, they all betray your self-image, right? You know, if you're always late, then someone's going to go, right, it's all right, you're all right, lazy git, or he's all right, you know, he's, is he reliable? That's self-image, you know, it's just it's like you just, you know, yeah. no, that's not from, from that's just by someone being late. It's like, oh, good, good Lord, you know, this is, this is, and you can change that, right? It's like when you if you tip up to work and you're a scruffy git, you know, first impressions, I don't care what you say. People are like, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. You tip up to work, you're presentable, you're on time, you know, you look the part, you you start to feel the part and people will start to take you seriously. Um, so it is about discipline. It's about routine. And um, it's about, you know, that's that self-reflection in the mirror. You know, <laughs> the mirror is such an important tool, not only, you know, visually but psychologically you know talking to yourself and talking to the man in the mirror or the woman in, in the mirror and being honest with yourself please do subscribe hit the button